Now we will fix an object reference is required for the non static field method or property, and I will be fixing a particular scenario of object reference required issue. Okay, so we will start from where we left in the last uh, application. So here, if we get rid of this static, okay, static keyword, let's see what happens. So if I save it without saving, you can see here uh, an object reference is required for the non static field method or property. And this is the method name. This is the uh, method dot, this is the class dot method swapper dot swap. Again on integer ref int, ref int, okay, which is this signature of this swap method within the swapper class. So, what is the issue? Why dropping the static keyword actually brought up this issue and object references required for the non static field method or property? So, let's get back to the program main entry class. Now, here you can see that you know uh, I have dropped the static keyword. That means I need to instantiate the swapper class first before using the swap method which I am not done. So either I do this, I instantiate a, you know, this swapper class first and then called the swap method or I have to declare it as static. From, this is the point from where we started off. So if you now run this application, everything will be hunky dory or fine. Let's see. So you got the results A10 B5, which was the result that we are getting before we introduce this error. Okay. Now, what happens if we drop this static keyword and we'd like to still run this program? Then I'll have to instantiate this swapper class. So swapper. Swapper swapper equals new swapper and then swapper dot swap instead of this type directly, but I need to write the instance of that swapper class. So swapper dot swap ref ref p. And if I run this application again, so it gives you the same result as before 810 b5 after swapping the references 